Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are all having a blessed week. Uh, mine's going really good. Hey, uh, how many of you remember that song, Imagine? Uh, I believe it was written by John Lennon and Paul McCartney, both of the Beatles. But remember that song, Imagine? They said they envisioned living in a perfect world, a world without hate, a world without race. Little did they know that that world is absolutely one breath away. This is what it says in John 14, 1 to 3. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. People, this is one of the scriptures that I cling to every day. The Lord Jesus said, I'm going away and I'm going to prepare a place for you in my Father's house. He's going to prepare that place. And I'm sure that those places are already prepared now. And then he says, when as soon as I get it done, I'm going to come back personally and get you and take you to that place. People listen, Paul went there, the Apostle Paul, he went there and he caught a glimpse. And he told us two things about when he went there. He said, listen, he said, guys, I saw it and you can't even imagine what God has prepared for us. You can't even imagine. You know that God is a God of creation. I've told you guys this before. God is a God of creation. God has been here for all of eternity past, and I am thoroughly convinced that He's been creating that whole time. If you were to step into eternity right now, and you were just to start walking back into eternity past to look at everything that God ever created, in all of eternity, you will never see it all. Because He's been creating for eternity past, you will never see it all you will never, ever, ever get bored in heaven. So this is what uh, Paul goes on to tell us. 2 Corinthians 2.9, he says, I has not seen, nor ear heard, neither has entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them that love him. People, Paul says, you can't even imagine you, the wildest imagination, you can't even come up with a sliver of what's waiting for you. And then he goes on to say this. This is the second thing Paul tells us. He says, oh, that, that's all I can tell you. <laughs> the rest of everything I saw and heard, I can't tell you. God told me, no, I can't tell you. You're just going to have to wait and see. In 2 Corinthians 12, 2, it says, I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago, whether in the body or out, I cannot tell. God knows. Such a one was caught up to the third heaven. I knew such a man, whether in the body or out, I don't know. God knows. He was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words which are not lawful for a man to utter. So Paul gets there. He's able to tell us that you can't even imagine what's waiting. But then he also says, that's all I can say. The other things that I saw and heard, I don't know if he, th he saw things that are, that are going to happen here, what he saw, but he, he's not able to tell us. So anyway, let's go to Revelation 21.10 and take a little, a little glimpse of what's coming. And he carried me away in the Spirit. This is the Apostle John. He carried me away in the Spirit to a great high mountain and showed me that great city, the New Jerusalem descending out of heaven from God. People, this city, the New Jerusalem, is going to come out of heaven, and it's going to come down, and it's going to either hover right over this earth, or it may land, I'm not sure. And it's either a cube or a pyramid, but it's 1,500 miles square at the base. And it has 12 gates, and each gate is a single pearl. I don't know how big those gates are, but I'll tell you what. I would imagine that back pre-flood, God must have put these ginormous oysters 
in the ocean to grow those pearls. That's the only, that's the only way you grow a pearl is in an oyster. And if those gates are as big as a skyscraper, then you imagine how big that oyster was that, that God incubated those oysters in, or those pearls in. <laughs> Be kind of interesting to ask him how he did it. So guys, listen. Paul says you can't even imagine what God has prepared for you, and you can't. Neither can I. This new Jerusalem is coming, and inside that city, that new Jerusalem, there is a room waiting for you. And people, God knows you better than you know yourself. You couldn't decorate that room if you had to, as good as what God is going to. You're going to take one look at that, and you're going to say, this is me. This is me. And you're going to love it. Guys, listen. There are two worlds coming. There's that city, the new Jerusalem, the new heaven, and the new earth. We're going to spend a thousand years there, and that's where the then that's where the Bible ends. At the end of that thousand year millennial reign, final judgment, that's where the Bible ends. You can either have your part in that new Jerusalem, or you can live for yourself right now, live in the flesh. Don't give God a second thought. And if that's the case, you're going to die, you're going to go to hell. And you're going to spend a thousand years in the center of this earth, in hell, while we're enjoying this millennial reign in the New Jerusalem. And then you're going to be brought out of hell and you're going to go to the great white throne judgment and you're going to be thrown into a lake of fire. People, eternity past, eternity future, and your life in the flesh is this little blip. It's a little blip on the radar screen. That's all it is. And you're going to let that little blip of you living in the flesh, eating, drinking, having sex, doing everything you want to do, you're going to let that little bit determine all of eternity of either being with God or being in a lake of fire. People, only an absolute fool would do that. An absolute, utter fool would do that. People listening, it's all, it's all winding down. It is absolutely all winding down. The Lord's return is imminent. Look at everything that's going on in the world right now. Ezekiel 38, all the nations are falling into place. Everything is happening. AI, the cashless society, the, the dollar is going to fall at any time and we're going to a cashless society. It's all coming together right now. All of it. UFOs, everything. People, the Lord's return is imminent. You don't want to miss eternity. You don't want to miss it. Let me tell you something. Every single person in hell, everyone that's ever lived in the past that wound up in hell, every one of them wishes they had one more breath, just one more breath to utter these words. Father, please forgive me. Every one of them. People, you need to say that now because once you get to hell, it's too late. Anyhow, I just want to give you something to think about. Heaven or hell, you choose. Just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a